Welcome back guys to the ChemDraw tutorial series. In this video we're going to learn about drawing complex molecules easily and quickly. So here we have a molecule which we'll draw, try to draw in ChemDraw. So what's the best method? You, you have a look at it and then go to ChemDraw and then draw it and then have a look at it or you take a print or whatever. So in computer, we don't need to even waste paper by taking a print or something. We can just open open the windows side by side or even better. What I do usually, I take a picture of this and put it here in the chem draw and then draw it here by looking at that picture. And that's pretty easy and quick way of drawing in chem draw. So I'll just copy this image depending on your PDF um, program, PDF reader or editor, you can take a picture of it. So I'm using Foxit and in this software we have a snapshot option. So if you select snapshot and then just click on it, it copied that area and now you can come to CamDraw and paste, right click, paste or control V. So now we have the molecule here. We'll, we'll quickly draw it. So now you see, try to start with the major backbone of the molecule. So in this one, it looks like this benzene ring, not a benzene ring, but this ring is the main building block and then other things are attached on it. So this is a six membered ring and we'll see which is the six membered ring. And you see that there is only one double bond. It's not a benzene, so we'll rel we rather start with this cyclohexane ring instead of a benzene ring. And we click on cyclohexane ring and just click here. Oops. It is um, drawing in. I'll exit it and open it again to make the settings default. That was just to tell you how things work yes now it's default so y we can move this these lines from here select click and move it to the sides I don't want to see the, the separation so this is a better looking view now so I'll select cyclohexane oh I'll paste it again control V because it was still copied keep it here and select cyclohexane click so I draw a cyclohexane and now the first thing first I should um, I'll draw all the bonds first and then put the labels in so you see that this is an above the plant bond here is the above plant bond select it and click on that atom it attaches it now below the plant bond this one attached and single bond you can simply click on this single bond again to make it a double bond or the other way you right click this double bond this single bond select double plane makes a double bond or the third way you can select a multiple bond from here and click on that so any any method works this is a pretty quick way you simply select a single bond click on it it makes it a double now you have to create a bond here and a bond down here so that's a double bond just click on it again it is double now and this is single and then another single and then another single now we have um, an above the plant bond here over here so we select the above the plant bond click on this atom remember to click when it becomes this blue um, square box I mean if you click here and then try to attach this bond manually with it it is not right look it is showing an error that this these bonds are not connected so always try to make the structure correctly uh, it is just like Microsoft Word spell checking chem draw checks for the chemical errors in the document or in the structure which you are making so now we have an, a below the plane bond over here and then a single bond over here yes I I draw it, it draw on this side, I said control Z, no, I want to draw on the other side, then I clicked again and it draw on the other side. 
so now we'll fit um, we'll fill in the uh, atom label so we select this a text and first we select we will fill the oxygen so there are three oxygens so we'll click on this one and write oxygen click on a side so now th there is oxygen here so now the beauty of this tool is like you simply double click where you want to put another oxygen and it remembers the previous label and puts it there and now the third one you'd simply move the cursor here double click and it made it oxygen now we'll do the OH click here OH double click here OH so that's it that's how you can draw uh, pretty looking structures so th there there is a, always a different method available for um, putting the atom labels so double clicking was one and I'll show you the other method with another structure we'll draw now so now we'll write down compound one and make it bold probably click bold yes that's compound one and now we have drawn it so now I'll save it file save as desktop compounds can draw save so that file is saved now and you can see its name appearing here at the top so I'll delete that structure now don't need it because I have a better looking one and then we have another structure in a PDF file over here this is rather bigger than the previous one so we'll come to this one now select snapshot take a picture fox it reader is a very good PDF software if you you want to use it you can download it for free it's um, Foxit reader is fr uh, free and it is pretty handy and lightweight as well so now I'll paste that structure here and try to draw it so again I'll uh, look for the main main building block that's a, a ring and then uh, there are different substituents on it so I'll select a cyclohexane ring put it here and then single bond so now we have a single bond over here and another one another one another one so now it draw on that side we can simply delete that so move the pointer over here when it's a, a, a blue uh, square behind it you just click delete sorry press the delete button and it deletes it or you can select the eraser if you want a longer proper method but that's a pretty quick one this one so you just click on that to make a double bond and then this one this one delete this one so here are we this one this one I'll quickly draw everything that I can and then I delete the extra So now we have um, double bond and then single bond and then single, single, single. So this is extra. And here one other bond as well. Is that correct? Yes, it looks so. And now we have uh, below the plant bond here and then and above the plant bond here and then below the plant over here as well and two bonds over here single bond so that comes like this why that bond is showing that way we can make this one so now if you already have a single bond and you want to convert it to above the plant bond you don't need to delete the previous one simply select this one and now don't click on the atom instead take the mouse pointer on the bond and you can see it is um, selecting the bond like this you click and it will convert it to that bond and then after NH this one and this one so this is a double bond oh that's a pretty looking drawing that that um, in that drawing the angles do not look alright so 
I don't like it too much. That's why I made it like um, this. So if you just click, keep clicking, CamDraw will take care of the bond angles that they are correct and they look good. So don't try to handle the angles manually. Try to try CamDraw to do them for you. So that's how you make a beautiful looking structure. So now we'll fill in the labels. So I'll fill in like uh, OH first, OH. And now there is another way. If I have this lasso tool selected and I want to put the OH here as well. So if you have selected this text, you double click. But if you didn't have text, like you have selected the bone and you just want to put it here, OH, you just hover the mouse pointer right click and repeat OH label. There you go. OH is here. The next is hydrogen. So we put hydrogen here and then here NH and here oxygen. So that's how we have made this structure real quick. And similarly you can make many other structures which are really complex ones um, like I showed you yesterday so I'll make a copy oh yes I want to tell you about that how, how did I make a copy that so quick so to make a copy of this text I mean you don't need to do everything click on a write a new text make it bold so to, to make things look similar for example you have this text you want the other text look similar all the settings same just make a copy of it you can say control C control V and then drag it or the best way which I usually prefer to do is press control and then drag this compound click and drag it so keep pressing the control now leave the control and it will make a copy of it so now you can right click it edit text and write to compound to so that's how we we draw different molecules in chem draw very efficiently and if you are desperate and want to change the angle of some some bond or something you can do that so click on on the atom label and then select click and drag it look you can change the angle manually lengthen the bond shorten the bond whatever you want to do with it you can do it of course I mean it allows you to do that but um, it's a, it's totally up to you I mean if you want to drag this uh, metal group you just click on the carbon atom and when it is selected then you take the mouse pointer on it it will convert into a hand and then you can select it now sorry click on it and drag it I mean you can make a very long bond or a very short one whatever you like but if you let the cap draw do it that will be better for you I don't um, think that we can mess with the pictures and then they look so good so this was all about drawing structures in the next videos we'll cover some more topics of camera and um, good luck and bye bye